Digital Commerce by NN and FL. What is digital commerce? Digital commerce is the buying and selling of goods and services using the internet, mobile networks, and commerce space. Goods online is a part of the market economy to make online shopping more efficient and easy. This process can be delivered to your front door or you can pick it up. Good things about digital commerce. There are many benefits of, for digital commerce. It is easier to find things when you can search it up online shops. This can save gas so you don't have to travel place to place. It prevents you from having to deal with the struggle of closing times if you, have, if you choose to shop late. As well as that, you usually have many options and color choices. At certain times, there, are, there may only be one option at a store. In addition, digital commerce allows you to stay online. There are many good things about that. You can avoid traffic starting off. You won't have to go anywhere. As well as that, coupons are found online more often than offline. Most likely, there will be a warranty that allows you to return something in a certain amount of time or if you broke something. As well as positive things, there are also negative things. If something is easily breakable, such as glass or other fragile objects, it can sometimes come with damaged parts. There are also a lot of false advertising and scams. Things that are online are usually pictures, so possibly offline things can look worse or have less quality. So I care of them. If you need something quickly, online shopping isn't the best way. It can take a couple of days, sometimes months, to arrive. To prevent this, going to actual stores is probably better. Lastly, often products have shipping fees. This causes some things to cost more than they're worth. Digital commerce needs us to tell them our address when delivering. This strategy may be dangerous when sellers are not in for business but thieves. Customers will have the depending amount of scams depending on if they enter their phone number or many on leased websites. The companies use these phone numbers to advertise their product. Types of digital commerce. There are several types of digital commerce such as business to business when two companies buy or sell from each other. There is also business to consumer, which is when you buy it from an online website like Amazon. Consumer to consumer is when an independent seller doesn't need something anymore, so they sell it to make some money. Consumer to business is a business which consumers create value and businesses can consume that value. Business to administration is the process of selling things from company to administration. Consumer to administration is the consumer selling to administration. Does digital commerce affect us consumers? As the world is evolving, so is different types of things we do. Technology is advancing by the second and allowing us to do things without struggles. This is impacting us because technology is slowly fixing the problems we might have within the future. In fact, in the future, possibly we might not even have to tell our information. Maybe they will make a machine that automatically knows when in, in an account. There are different types of people who will put in false answers to test as well. Things you should know before buying. At the top of the screen, there's a secure lock. If it is not there, then, then do not buy the item. One customer in Atlanta, Georgia, bought something from a website called GetEverything.com. Three weeks later, she got a box with shredded paper. If there are not any descriptions, do not buy the item. If it has ratings, do, it must not be real without description. And this is our bibliography.